doing a little honeydew project. God seen fit to bless us with another baby. She should be here sometime, I think, in July. Anyway, my office is fixing to become a baby's bedroom in a year or so. So, probably the office is going to get moved out here in the garage where I've got all my parts stored. So, out here in the garage, the far corner that I've been piddling with back there is a big old mud hole. So, stick around and we'll have some fun. So, this house was built in uh, the mid-70s. I'm not sure exactly when, maybe the early 70s. I'm thinking somewhere 72 or 73. Anyway, this corner of the garage here is about an inch, inch and a quarter low or lower than the rest of the garage floor. There's a, there's just a big hole back here. Every time you pull a wet automobile in here or got snow on your rig, it, it melts and it just runs back in this corner. You know, and, and really all we've ever had back here is just junk, and I've always set it on old air conditioner pads to get it up off the floor, and it's never mattered. But at some point, my computer and desk are going to go back here in this corner, and I'll put in a, a little heat pump or something to keep this area conditioned. So we're going to need to do something about this floor. So right now I'm grinding off the old uh, paint and just roughing it up with a, a grinding wheel a masonry grinding wheel, don't use a metal grinding wheel on something like this. This is a 3M6900 face mask, okay, or 6899, I don't know exactly which one it is, but it says it's, it's Z87.1 on the protection here, and I've just got paint respirator filters in it. Uh, I don't care about very much of anything other than the dust. If you're going to grind concrete or something like this, dust is going to be a problem. So mama and, and little man are in town right now. Uh, the wind is very calm. It's not blowing the dust into the house. So I probably won't get much of a whipping over blowing dust into the house. Uh, just Think about dust control before you start on a project like this. And for God's sake, protect your lungs and your eyes, because just do. Here we are. I've taken my wife's very best mop. Well, not really. It's just a dollar store cheapy. Uh, don't use your wife's very best mop. You will get your ears pinned back. But I've taken them off and I've just kind of smeared some water out on this. And you can see, I, I didn't wring the mop out. I just dumped it in a bucket and mopped around on this. And you can see how much water that this bare concrete is sucking up. I mean, I did this like a minute ago, and there's already dry spots. And I say that because it's fairly important that you wet your concrete down and get some moisture down in it. Because if it's sucking the water just out of the water, it will suck the water out of your mortar and your, or your topping mix uh, and your uh, bonding agent. And you don't want that. You don't want it to suck the water out of your stuff. You want to, uh, you want your stuff to bond with it. It'll just, it'll suck. It'll steal your soup, is what the old concrete men that I know used to call it. Other more, well, they call it a lot of things. Anyway, you don't want it to steal your soup. So here's a piece of inch PVC pipe. It's probably about an inch and a quarter or, oh, maybe an inch and five sixteenths OD. And if I throw that up underneath my other end of my tuba pour, that is reasonably straight this way. It's bowed three quarters of an inch the other way, but it's, it's straight enough for the girls we go with. So if I put that under that edge, 
I've got something like a half an inch and four foot running that way. So that ought to be enough to keep water from puddling up here in the corner. And it's that way all the way on the swing of this eight foot two before. It's all draining away from this corner. And this is, I mean, it, this is the, the mud hole back here. This whole, this whole area was just a terrible mud hole. It would hold, oh, a half or three quarters of an inch of water back here. So that's what we're going for. And uh, you'll notice up here, You'll notice up here that I've kind of ground down chunks. Well, there was chunks of wood buried in the concrete. I don't know why I wasn't in the live when they poured this concrete. So, you know, it's lasted all this time. There ain't a crack in this floor nowhere. It's just got a big old mud hole in it. So anyway, here we go. Well, uh, I'm going to give this a little bit more water. And then I'll get my little old cheapo concrete mixer drugged up here. And uh, we'll start mixing up a little, a little bit of mud and a little bit of uh, a little bit of bonding agent. Okay, so here in my little Harbor Freight special concrete mixer, I've got a quart of bonding agent. I'm not going to say the name brand of it, but there's a quart of bonding agent, about 15 pounds of uh, uh, topping mix, sand mix and I sweetened it up with about two quarts of Portland. And you wanna mix this stuff up really good and get it to the consistency of paint. And then you just wanna smear it out all over your area to kinda of like a primer. So you get that mixed up good and smeared out. And this is probably gonna be lumpy because I used some old topping mix. So we'll smear this out and go from there. You might have noticed that that stuff looked like it's been sitting at the warehouse at the lumber yard since Bill Clinton was in, was, was in office. And it's just about as good a quality as Bill Clinton. So anyway, I'm going to make do with what I got and try to get this halfway screeded and finished. Sneaky like an Uh-huh. Good. You gonna be able to sneak up on deer? Like uh -huh. daddy?
You remember when I was a little kid, I would go hunting? Yeah. Oh. Well, how do you remember when I was a little kid? Because. Because? Yeah. Because you've heard stories? No, when I was in my mom you came. Did what? When I was in my mom was telling you came. I don't know if you know what you're talking about. scraping back to where I stopped grinding. Uh, this may peel up and chip in the future. I don't really care. I kind of halfway expect it to. This sand mix is not really meant for doing this, uh, this feathering out with. I mean, it, it's not meant to feather out to nothing. It's meant to really feather to a quarter inch, and that's it. So, uh, I'm just slicking this back or peeling this back to where I finished soft grinding at. And I'm just going to finish it out and try to uh, slick it down, push my soup up into this. And, uh, it would have been better had I ground a sharp relief right there, but I didn't. And that would have wore out 10 grinders and 100 wheels to, to grind a quarter or a half inch relief down into that. So we'll just try this. If it only lasts 10 or 15 years, oh well.
Well, boys, we got some concrete. It's still green as a gourd, and I shouldn't really be on it. But I have got a half or three-eighths of an inch and a quarter foot going to the roll-up door. I am tickle pink. And the best part about it is when you walk across it, you don't feel like you stepped in a mud hole. So, you know, I, I'm pretty, pr pretty proud of what turned out here. Uh, B, this is Saturday, so we ain't going to do nothing on Sunday. So it'll be Monday or Tuesday probably before we, you know, move anything back on top of this. I had to uh, bring my LED light in here to see last night because, my goodness, it, the light's terrible in this little, little garage. Of course, it's a garage. It's not supposed to be great light. Uh, but bringing that LED light in, boy, this these walls look terrible in here. Uh, this exterior wall behind me here, I may strip this thing off. There's big holes knocked in it for to get access to run wire, and it's just ugly. But anyway, I may strip the sheetrock off of this wall one of these days and tear out all my shelving and uh, redo this exterior wall because I'm pretty sure there's no insulation in it. Back in when this house was built, nobody really saw any need to insulate garage, the exterior walls on the garage. So anyway, we'll, uh, I think we'll just kind of leave this project where it's at, and uh, by and by we'll put everything back and get, to, get the little garage put back together. Thanks for joining me. Y'all have any questions, just ask them. Y'all drive careful. Watch for deer.